Santa, you still have the fucking air bill on here? Come on now. Who you think I am? Oh, these are fire. Wow. God damn, Santa. You shouldn't have, bro. Santa's out here really blessing blessing the peoples out here, bro. Holy shit. Nah, but in all seriousness, being an adult is buying your own Christmas gifts, wrapping them, and acting surprised when you open them. <laughs> Rich Max was the turn out of my lifestyle Smoking green, blowing white clouds to build the blue skies Conversating with the gods by my wildflower To let them know that it's the gods I would This love's the never ending saga Gods by my wildflower To let them know that it's the gods I would This love's the never ending saga Gods by my wildflower To let them know that it's the gods I would This love's the never ending saga Gods by my wildflower To let them know that it's the gods I would This love's the never ending saga Walk through the sands of times like Gara On the other side Side of that gat is karma, he wet Prada, the devil like inside your box now. What the angels fly over my head Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. We are back with another episode of the God's Hour podcast with your boy Big Serba Valley back in the place to be, La Merca Superior, the Palace 81. We in the building, live in effect, live and direct. It's your boy, Mr. Nine Times. And do you guys know what day it is? It's Christmas. It is the holiday Christmas. Merry Christmas episode. Merry Christmas, Presley. I love you. I thank God every day that he blessed me with your presence and your beautiful little ears. Yes. Yes. And I got these little neat little chocolate cigars. Look at ha ha ha. Fucking, I don't know. But these shits is, uh, they're not real cigars. They're chocolate cigars. They're chocolate things that look like cigars. So, that's neat. Um, I spent, I dropped a hundred dollars at this, this known chocolate place. I'm going to stop name dropping all the fucking, what is it? All the brands. So if any, anybody wants to sponsor my podcast, you're more than welcome to, but this very well-known chocolate place. Dropped a hundred. Easy. On um, my mom's Christmas gift. On my tia's Christmas gift. On my other tia's Christmas gift. On some chocolatey walnut types. And these cigar things. I didn't even buy those lollipops. They have them fucking lollipops. That. You know. Are, are, are fantastic. They have the. White. Right. White chocolate. Butterscotch. Dark chocolate, whatever other bullshit they have. Sugar free, that's a that's a nice one right there. Milk chocolate, eh? That was some bullshit. Then I go and, and I get me some packs of underwear and shit. And there was a a pack of underwear that that was like you get one extra free one. I'm like, cool. I got that one. I got a fucking a, a two pack because it was like two for four or whatever the fucking shit was. And somebody stole two packs of underwear out, out the fucking pack. So I literally paid for two less than what I would have gotten. And, and it pissed me off. And my, my mom was like, why don't you go back and go, you get your fucking money back or whatever. I'm like, cause that's now I'm spending time and energy going out to fucking go just to get two more packs of underwear. Like, any in any other case, like motherfuckers got money, bruh. And honestly, I could just go back and steal me an, another two. Like it just it's cool. It's Rack City, bitch. Rack Rack City, bitch. Tens and twenties on the titties, bitch. Shout out to Tiger. Uh, honestly, I really didn't have anything crazy for y'all. I, I had some shit, you know, that I wanted to talk about, but you know me. Really, you know what I mean? Uh, um, why? So I did the uh, Christmas sesh with the homies. Shout out to Abe the Freak and all them. And it, it was cool. I burnt it down. I, I I performed some unreleased tracks. I didn't think they... I, I knew they were going to go over, but I didn't think they were going to go over like that. Like, it was a lot of engagement. A lot of people, as soon as... Like, one of the tracks NC produced, one of the tracks Zika Bits produced, one of the tracks... Big classic shout out to them. They produce really dope. Um, I knew they were gonna hit, but like 
you know when it's the difference between thinking they're gonna hit and knowing and and like like the feedback like they hit. So everything was fire. I knew it was like a bulletproof set. I only got 10 minutes. I already knew within this, a lot of time I had to get this shit crack a lack in. And it did. So, uh, and I met like some real, real cool dudes out there. You know what I mean? It's, it's, uh, that's what I do it for the shows is just network with other people. I fucking hate this, this light when it's like, it's hitting me like that, like beams on them and shit. I don't know. The show was really dope. I killed it. It was, it was, uh, like last time they had the whole thing. They were like torching glass. They were, they had the whole nine yards, right? But this time the fucking, like the main host didn't even show up. So it was literally like a hip hop show as opposed to they had, you know, edible eating uh, contest last time and, and whatever else. Like it was like a, a cannabis show. Uh, before, whereas now it was more so a hip hop show, which is dope to me. Like it, I had the whole, I was pretty much hosting the cipher, and we got it on, man. I, I, I really fuck with it. I shout out to all the homies, Net Ponder, Ape the Freak, Don Jesse that rolled through. O, o Q, right? Don't, don't, don't get me wrong with y'all names. Uh, Ro came through, and I forgot who, who else. Forgot the homie's name. He had the pictures with the cameras. They raffled off his pictures. Fire. We got to get locked in and we got to do a music video. We got to do something, bro. But uh, that shit was fire. May was a little too far, man. I, I I caught traffic coming back and I'm like, dog, literally, this is horrendous, bro. I, I hate driving. I drive for a living. And the fact that I got to drive even more is fucking bullshit. You know, I, I, I really don't want to be driving at all. Driving gives me fucking mino ansias and whatever, right? As long as I, the people see me and I'm doing my shows, that's cool. Like, I'm thankful for every opportunity, Um, even if it's a hole in the wall, even if it's like five people are there. The fact that people get to see me and one day they'll be like, yo, I seen fucking Serbs in Maywood. In fucking uh, wherever it is, right? Like, yo, it was only like twenty of us in there. That's what I do it for. I don't. I'm not trying to do it because, whatever. Like, I'm trying to, whatever fucking dumb reason is. Like, I just want to be out there, and I, I I could really care less about the intricacies and all that shit. So, yeah, Chris, Christmas sesh was a success, bruh. Um. I want to talk about this crazy drill rapper chick. I forgot her name. I don't. I. I. I know I should have come prepared better for this, but let's just look her up. See if we can't just look her up real quick. Drill rapper chick. That's literally what I'm looking up on YouTube. Um, and it's so funny because Danny Brown was right. Like all the, all the fucking drill rappers sound like. Batman, smoking them ops, like whatever the fuck. That shit's hilarious, bro. I really hate getting notifications on my phone because I have half an ADD. Let's see if what he was saying was right. Um, let me see. Ah uh, man, this is why. Like, to be honest, guys, I just jump in and do the podcast. I don't do a whole lot of, I don't do a whole lot of uh, research. You know what I mean? So if it sounds half ass, I don't give a fuck. This is definitely not drill. This is definitely like modern trap. She has a. It looks like a Glock. Kind of looks like a Glock, but then it kind of looks like a Springfield XD. I don't know. Whenever I feel like whenever chicks have the the piercing right here and the fucking the shit in the middle i don't know i feel like they're fucking lesbians or something like that i don't know there's something like mad mad not right with that mad it's very unattractive to me um 3.2 million uh views 
That's crazy. I'm going to shout her out. Big topic, doing my dance. Okay, whatever. Um, Nah, but drill, the drill rap shit. Is it Murder B? Is it this chick? Let me look at this chick's video, too. This sounds better than the other shit I was listening to. What what I feel about this whole drill rap shit, it's cool. Um but here's the thing though. Drill drill is very has like a very low ceiling. Uh like Pop Smoke I feel like is the best to ever do it. Um in my opinion, like yeah, we have like Chief Keef and we have you know what's uh, what's the dude uh, G Herbo used to be Lil Herb. They they were like definitely the pioneers, originators of the sound. But I feel like okay, actually no, I'll say Chief Keef is the godfather of drill. Pop Smoke is probably the best to do it. Ice Spice is like the innovator right now, and everyone else has to like make their bones because with the whole drill rap, I think it's cool, but all it's the same shit. Like they're smoking the ops. You know, designer shit, foreigns. Okay, what else? Because there's really no... Like, Ice Spice is the first one I feel like to introduce substance. Like, she actually, you know, I can't sleep enough without you. I can't think enough. Whatever the fuck she said in that one song, the that's a really, like, cool song for me. Like, it took Ice Spice. It took this chick. And no this to Ice Spice, but I'm just saying, like, out of all these... Like, gangster-ass drill rappers. Like, it took Ice Spice to come out and actually say something in her songs. And it's not even that crazy. It's just, like, you know, like, regular human emotions. But, like, imagine that. Like, to where a lot of, like, rappers don't even talk about... Like, all they talk about is very, like, street shit. And it's never... Like, now, I'm talking about, like, the new artists. A lot of them don't don't talk about how, how fucked up they are over type... Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're losing sleep over shit. You know what I mean? Losing loved ones. You know, It's very surface level music. And I don't want to shit on it. Like, it's dope. I really love Pop Smoke. Ice Spice is aight. But I'm trying to look for this fucking chick, though. What's the chick's name? Like, she just go. She's just too. She's just too much, dog. I don't know. There's a lot of music out here that I feel like has like zero substance. You know, it doesn't have to be drill. It's just a lot of corny shit out here. As Prodigy would say, it's just a lot of corny shit. And there's no substance. There's no no kinds of relatability to it. It's just copy and paste. Oh, they talk about this. Like, you could hear them listening like, you'll hear, okay, that's Chief Keef, that's this, that's, you know. And what I'm talking about is this, uh, this dude, Um, he made a reel out of it, and that's how I find, found it of this chick. And he's like, rah, 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 like a chihuahua. Like, that's how she sounded. And it's funny because that's how she sounds. It's not funny because whatever, he's making fun of her. It's f- funny because that's how she sound she sounded i don't know the fact that the fact that i'm talking about drill shit on christmas day is ridiculous but i wanted to give y'all a christmas episode i think last year or the year before i didn't give y'all no i wanted to do like a holiday podcast but like both of my grandmas are here they're watching a movie i wanted to have the christmas tree and everything but fucking whatever right uh, but I hope you're entertained because I'm taking the time out of my day to entertain you. <laughs> uh, let me look. I think I had to save. I was so over it last night, Christmas Eve. My tias came like all late, like eight o'clock. I wanted to do everything early, dog. I'm I'm an old man at this point. I don't I don't want to be fucking. 
I don't want to be up till midnight. Fuck, fuck opening presents at midnight. We could do it like at eight o'clock. When I was a kid, my parents would, would fucking make me wait until 12. And I would hate it because I'd be asleep. Like as soon as I open my presents, fucking, fucking knock the fuck out real quick. You know, it was a done dealio. And I don't think I saved it. Because all I have saved is like fucking big booty bras, big titties, shit like that. Yeah. That's what I have saved, dog. It's a damn shame. It's a damn travesty. This funny. This Jamaican shit. When white people, when white people, after trying oxtail over rice. The fact that like dudes like this could get clout is crazy to me, bruh. I really don't understand it. I really don't know how. I don't. I don't know. I really. I honestly don't know. I probably have like thousands and thousands of of fucking bitches in bikini shave, bruh. And I don't even go back and look at them. Like, it's just like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like a dog with a bone. Like, I just save it for later and never go back to it. There's some bad bitches. There's a lot of bad bitches on Instagram, bro. It's crazy. People shit on, oh, she's just an Instagram model. Yeah, but she's fine, bro. So what are you talking about? The fact that she got millions of views don't surprise me. Not, not, like, not one bit, bro. You know? I'm surprised people are like shitting on 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 chicks that are fine. I don't like what part of the game is that. I'm not even gonna find. I'm not ever gonna find this chick now, bro. I don't even think I saved it. I don't even think I did. Fuck, man, that's some bullshit. Maybe if I maybe I'll, I'll look for it while I'm trying to. Oh my god! I I love how I try to put drill rapper chick, and I thought like it was gonna pop up immediately. I don't, I don't know, man. Music is I get that it's open to interpretation, but oh yeah. This chick is trying to do like G Funk. Bella, it's called Breeze. This is cool, but my whole thing is is like you could really tell that she has like little experience like rhyming. And what I mean by that, I don't mean no disrespect, but what I'm trying to say is I've been rapping for almost 10 years. You know, and you can tell. You could just tell by the way I rap. If you can't tell, then that means you you just don't have an ear for it. Like when you're really experienced and you really do this shit, like it shows. You know the passion, the the dedication. Everything is, everything is there. You know, some of these people, some of these artists, I feel like they have no ambition. They have no sense of of dedication to the art so their music sounds like that that's why when you'll go you'll go listen to an album they made a year ago and it's the same it's literally the same shit it's the same album i don't understand it um me personally you listen to like okay okay you'll listen to sonia right Sonia sounds way different. Exactly. Actually, it is the one year anniversary of Sonia. Why are we bullshitting? Shout out to NC. That's my dog. Uh, but yeah, Sonia came out a year ago, and you listen to the 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 newest album, Painter's Paradise. 
sounds way fucking different. Way like I'm definitely is more uh Painter's Paradise is more raw. I'm talking about a lot of a lot of shit I did when I was younger. Sonia is very different. Sonia is a more of a conceptual album. And that's what I like doing. Like I like breaking it up. We'll do a conceptual album. We'll do personal album. We'll we'll do different things. You know, it's not it, it it's not like I'm trying to do the same shit. I'm trying to figure out ways to do new albums. Not even new albums, but make more make more music, better music, whatever. Like it's I'm trying to say something every time. I'm not trying to say the same shit. A lot of a lot of of what I hear is like the same shit, bruh. And I'm trying to, like, I'm not saying all my music is different because it's not. I'm saying I try, like, every time I try to introduce something new, if that's what the energy calls for, if that's what the song calls for. Now, trust me, I have enough braggadocious, you know, bullshit, ignorant songs. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say I don't have music like that. I definitely do. And a lot of it. But I'm just saying, like, Make an effort, you know, at least try to tell a, a story. What's different about you from everybody else? Cause I don't see that. I don't I don't see too many people trying to do that. And I'm gonna fucking lose my mind looking for this rapper chick. But let me just I already have Okay, so this this drill rapper chick, I'll find her eventually. But she's like screaming and she's punching in. She's like somewhere between Takashi Six Nine and uh um like a drill rap Takashi Six Nine. And it's like whatever, right? Um That's cool, but did I just find it right now? Well whatever, right? This chick is screaming. And it's very unattractive, and I, I don't really like the shit. So I uh, that wasn't it. So oh my god, I'm and I I'm still trying to find it. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know why I'm doing this. So. I don't like the screaming. I don't like that shit. Oh, okay. So she's trying to be like Takashi Six Nine and Triple X X X X X X X Tentacion. Shout out to to him, rest in peace. But it's not going over well. She's literally screaming her ass off. I'm still trying to find it. Why I'm doing the, the why I'm doing this to myself? It's crazy, bro. It's super fucking crazy. Oh no, man. I don't understand this shit. Mukbang with a drill rapper. Unbelievable. So people are just making content. People don't want to make music. People want to have viral moments. And I understand it. I'm not going to shit on nobody. But let's have more substance. I'm not going to Dr. Umar this shit. I'm just going to advocate for more like... If that's going to be your style, screaming and shit like that, that's fine. But let's try to have more substance into this shit because it gets it gets very old very fast. And uh, the fucking glasses come off. And another pair of glasses. Come on. You know, I'm fucking blind. I need new fucking glasses. My manager, she made fun of me. She's like, what do you, you need a... Are you blind? You need a new set of glasses? I want to tell the bitch, shut the fuck up. But what I said was, I actually do. Like, mind mind your fucking business. You know what I mean? Over here trying to... Like, that's that's borderline harassment in the workplace. Um, Like, you would think... Like, that's how you know you're not popping. When you have to look over, like, thousands and thousands of... Like, when Chinese Kitty comes up before you, that's when you need to reevaluate your fucking music career. But, I mean, I shouldn't even talk shit because, like, people don't even know about me now. They don't know about me now. But watch. People are going to look back and be like, yo, sir, fucking, he wasn't even known at this point. Um, Shaanxi is fine as fuck, dude. And it's so funny because I don't even like, like, I really hate Jamaican accent rap type music. Uh, Not all of it. Supercat and Nico Demis are probably, like, my favorite ones, but... 
I don't even understand what these people are saying. I don't understand what fucking people are saying. Yeah. I got some really dope interviews lined up, man. Just be aware. Just be aware. I love how I just put that. Like, if I was going to talk about that for some time. I'm not. But some good shit is out there. Free C-Mac. So, Crip Mac. He was arrested. They did the trial and everything. China Mac and No Jumper have kind of been going back and forth. Whatever. You know. Uh, that's not none of my business. But um, it's very interesting when you see, like... I see both sides of their arguments. Like, No Jumper is too busy to be going to court for Crip Mac. China Mac is there all the way for Crip Mac. But isn't China Mac Crip Mac's manager? I don't know how that works, but um Yeah, you know, free C Mac, bro. Um If I can donate, I will. Um did you hear my voice crack, man? Uh <laughs> you know, but whatever. Free C Mac, bro. Long Beach is hiring private fucking security, bro. So I'm looking at this shit, and it looked like they did it because a bunch of homeless people, where's this shit at? Uh, uh, a bunch of homeless people were getting attacked. I mean, a bunch of homeless people were getting attacked. Where the fuck is my brain at? A bunch of civilians were being attacked by homeless people, and their whole sh- their whole uh, uh, remedy to that was, well, let's just hire private security. The fucking new world order is coming out. That's why I'm gonna have. That's why you need to have a blick on you, bro. Uh, to stop the fucking, I'm like fucking, god damn it, dude! This fucking microphone stand is fucking pissing me off. I got like shotgun shells in the way and my feet and all that shit. So yeah, and the fucking cord is on my leg. I'm like super, like this is an all over the place interview. So I'm sorry if this was not the happy holidays episode you wanted, but I'm doing my best over here. What was we talking about? Long Beach security, man. Uh. I don't know how I feel about it is, is people, when you give, when you give your, like, when you, when you put the hands of security into, like, the private sector or whatever, I don't know, I just don't think it's a good idea, I don't think it's a good idea at all, um, why can't you just have a gun on you, you know what I mean, why can't you just solve things yourself, why do you have to hire, like, third party shits into a situation that you could have done yourself, right? I don't understand it, but it just seemed like they hired fucking the private security to kick homeless people out of outside of businesses. Like, is that such a crime loitering where we have to hire private security to kick out the homeless people? Why don't we fix homeless people so we don't have to hire security? Like people think fucking backwards these days. I don't even want to get into that. I've already got into that. But yeah, they're like, oh, yeah, you know. Oh, we could fucking get homeless help. These fuckers aren't going to get the homeless help. They're going to tell them to fuck off. People aren't... When you pay somebody... uh, When you pay somebody, they're going to do the least, bro. Trust me. Trust me. When you hire somebody to do a job, they're going to do the least for... They're going to do the least. They're going to get paid, and they're going to do the least. So, you know, people... I get... I, I understand... I understand, but I don't understand. Like, hire hire private security when your place is getting robbed, when they're sticking up the joint, when fools are out here wilding. Like, that I'll understand. But even then, it's like, nah, have a gun on you, and you be your own security. But to fucking do it for the homeless is a fucking bullshit-ass excuse for having private security. If I found out they were using my tax dollars for that kind of shit, I'd be mad as fuck. I'm just saying. Because... The fucking store store owner can easily come out and be like, yo, get the fuck out of here. And it's not a problem. And if the if the bums are really a problem, then that's when our tax dollars come in at work. You call the cops and whatever, bro. Like, to me, it's not a big fucking deal. Geechee Gotti throws a battle with a small league. So from what I understand, Geechee Gotti had a battle. It happened on uh, December 23rd, the day before Christmas Eve, two days ago. And I guess he just wrapped one bar. I'm actually going to try to look at this battle. Angry Fan 007. It's on Angry Fan. Angry Fan. 
It's on his shit, his channel. And his fucking thumbnail is so goddamn old. He need to change this shit. Let me see. Let me see. I guess they did a response or something. Um, let me see. I'm not a fan of these, uh, the fucking mobile phone battles, dog. I'm really not. Oh, it's under lives. So if you look under his lives, it's li it's live. Okay, so I would assume this is the battle. Okay. The fact that Geechee is just, like, talking all kinds of shit. Let me hear this shit. Wow. He's just talking shit. Wow. He said, I'm on my other phone talking to my bitch. This fool, God, he's a, this fool's an asshole. Didn't he say he only had one bar? Hey, strawberry milk is fire. What the hell? He's talking shit about strawberry milk. All right, here we go. One bar. Let me hear. Oh, that's bullshit. He said, he said, hold on. Let me hear this shit again. He's just talking all kinds of shit. Okay, what's the bar? Come on, say the bar. Fuck. He said, all I know is use a bitch. It's two days before Christmas. Your ass got to wrap some gifts. God, you got paid 3000 to to fucking... To say you, you so you got paid three thousand dollars to pay to, to for you to spit one bar, they booked you on a battle, and your whole excuse is two is two days before Christmas and you're doing a live event, Kichi. If you didn't want to do it, bro, you didn't have to get booked. I don't understand this. I don't understand why like you had to talk all kinds of crazy all kinds of crazy shit. And, like, people are trying to, like, defend this and be like, yeah, God, he fucking, uh -huh, he trolled you. And and his whole reason, reasoning is, like, he's giving them a look by doing that. But to be honest, man, that's some fucking bullshit. I would have, I i don't know what I would have, to be honest, I'm not a league owner. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not even about to say what I would have done. 
But honestly, I would have just cut his shit right there. Like, obviously, him just talking all kinds of shit. All, all it does is give Gotti better promotion, and it just shits on the whole league. Because now, people are, are, are going to, like, tune into the to the rest of this dude these dudes battles and like i don't know it's it's not i don't know i don't even know what to think about it because i just think it's wrong like how many rappers have like run off with deposits you know uh clean paper t-rex there's been a lot of rappers out here that have just taken money and they've not battled and they've they've made a thousand excuses and it's like bruh why don't you just like cancel? Why like why why even do it at that point? Like if you really for whatever reason had didn't have the time or whatever, like just don't do it, bro. I don't understand. I think Gichi Gotti took a super L with this. I think people are going to shit on him for like a long time because of this. And it's on him. Like it's his own you know, it's his own he fucking did it to himself. So, you know, this is like the talk of the town right now. And whatever, right? So, I love Gichi Gotti. Uh, his music is amazing. His fucking battles are awesome. But he, like, really... He really fucked up by doing this. So, to end it off, we have some gifts. I didn't open my gifts yesterday. I didn't want to. I was tired. I wanted to fucking just go to sleep. Oh, shit. Shit came back. So. This is from my parents. I love penguins. <laughs> and they gave me an envelope. If you don't know what an envelope is, do your fucking Googles. But I love this. I wish I wish my mom didn't write on it and use a tag. Because I would have reused this for some somebody else. This is from my tia Carmen. She gave me an envelope and these chocolates. Hold on, let me. <laughs> so two envelopes, two in a row, baby. I mean, fuck it. You know what these are? <laughs> One of the best chocolates of all time. These are some of my favorite chocolates mankind ever produced. Shout out to these chocolates, bruh. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna open this. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Presents are falling. Let me let me open my Tia Carmen's Tia Carmen's card. Wishing you a very merry Christmas filled with fun and laughter. And she gave me this. Looks like a this feels like a gift card. Jesus Christ, Tia! Why did you do this much to? Okay. It's a Costco membership. That's that's cool. <laughs> Two. Oh, fuck. I said my own name. I'm definitely going to bleep that out. No one should know my name. Two Serbs from blank. And it's and it's half and it's half a Benji. That's cool. Thank you. Thea. I appreciate that. Appreciate that very, very much. But now for the main event. We have the wrong gift wrap. Who could have done this? Two serves from Santa Claus. Santa, you used the you used the baby boy uh wrap. This is the wrap that you give like five year olds. Uh oh. The box is all fucked up. Shout out to all the delivery drivers that fuck up shoe boxes. Wow. Clean. These look like Reeboks. These are fire. I like the shit. The shit's on the back. <laughs> wow. I fuck with these right here. Santa. Santa came through, man. I fucking fuck with these right here. Santa knows. Santa got good taste. In shoes, man. Don't tell me this is another. No way. From who? From Santa Claus. Two serves from Santa Claus. Shout out to Santa Claus. I like this wrap. Anything that's gold is gold, bruh. What are these? Two 
Santa, you still have the fucking air bill on here? Come on now. Who you think I am? Oh, these are fire. Wow. God damn, Santa. You shouldn't have, bro. Santa's out here really blessing blessing the peoples out here, bro. Holy shit. Nah, but in all seriousness, being an adult is buying your own Christmas gifts, wrapping them, and acting surprised when you open them. <laughs> At least these two. The other shits is actually, you know, my parents, my tias. But that's what's up, man. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, in all seriousness, um, I was thinking about my loved ones that passed away. I was thinking about historian. Um, and just like, you know, people are releasing music and... Uh, posting like the whole Hamas and the whole Gaza shit right now. I know it's fucked up, but I don't want to see that. It's Christmas, bro. I really don't give. I, I not that I don't give a fuck, but it's like I don't want to see that, bro. I want to be with the family, and I really don't want to be looking at all the other shit. I don't want to listen to music. I don't want to listen to new fucking your new fucking mixtape you just dropped. I don't give a fuck. I, I I don't. I really don't. I I get the fuck away from me with that bullshit. Um. You know, Christmas is really a time for you to spend with your loved ones and be grateful for what you have and maybe give a gift. You don't have to get a gift. You don't have to give a gift. But just like, you know, self-reflection is, is very important uh, if you don't celebrate Christmas, whatever. But I I really don't. I really celebrate it because it's a traditional family thing. And that's really what it's for. For me, you know, that's what I get out of it. You know, the. Uh, we all get together and we all kick it or whatever. And even though I don't really like fuck with, rock with my family like that, it's whatever, you know. It is what it is. The fact that I could celebrate Christmas with both my grandmothers is fucking amazing to me. And that's what I thank God for. And that's what I really like about Christmas is just the fact that we can all get together and make time for each other. Uh, I'm going to do a review of this chocolate cigar thing. I wonder, it's a live review. Um, let me see. This was four fucking dollars. Four bones, this guy. Ha <laughs> ha. And this shit really do look like a motherfucking cigar, bro. Oh, shit. This shit looks like a piece of shit. Very good. I'll give this a... Uh, solid seven. Um, message of the day. Appreciate what you have. It's the holidays. So make it, make the most out of it, man. All year round, it's always some bullshit. But the holidays, man, even if you don't have family, man, it's just like appreciate what you have. It could be gone in a second, whether it be your mom, your grandma, whoever it is. Appreciate the people around you, your loved ones, because that's the mo most important thing in life. That's the people who are going to be with you in your darkest times. When I got kicked out, my grandma took me in. You know, even though she wasn't the most coddling or whatever, like just actions speak louder than words. You know, the homies. They're always going to be here for you. And with that, this is the Merry Christmas special of the God's Hour. Max was the turn out of my lifestyle Smoking green, blowing white clouds to build the blue skies Conversating with the gods by my wildflower To let them know that it's the gods I would This love's a never-ending saga 
guards by my wildflower uh -huh. Just let them know that it's the guards I would Word. This love's the never ending saga Guards by my wildflower uh -huh. Just let them know that it's the guards I would Word. This love's the never ending saga Guards by my wildflower uh -huh. Just let them know that it's the guards I would Word. This love's the never ending saga Walk through the sands of times like Gara, like Gara. On the other side of that gad is karma He wet Prada The devil like inside your box now While the angels fly over my head